I don't understand where the four hundred thousand pound goes to either. It's four hundred thousand dollars. Dollars, yeah. If it goes to the IWF, I'm sure they're. I'm sure in some ways they're quite quite happy when people fail the test. Yeah, but I'm sure the IWF. It's not their view to profiteer from from doping uh, infringements. Anyway, here we go. The men's 69 kilo class just underway here. David Morgan, together with myself, uh, David Goldstrom, and the first man on the stage from Azerbaijan. That should be Afghan Bayramov, if I'm uh, correct. Yes, yes posted at 130. And uh, I believe that's exactly the weight that he took and succeeded with. Yeah, and he had uh, a few problems last year in Qatar, uh, but also uh, in the European Championships. 142 kilos uh, snatched last season, but having said that, failed the clean and jerk three times on 175 kilos and failed to total up in this year's Europeans. What's interesting about tonight's uh, 69 kilo class is the European challenge. It's much stronger, the weight's going up, and here's Fikratov from uh, Bulgaria, the European bronze medalist last year. It's 130 kilos to uh, open his campaign. Just 19 years of age. Yes, these men weighing 69 kilos, that's just a touch under, just a kilo, or a couple of pounds under the 11 stone mark, opening up there with uh, just 10 kilos below double body weight, 130 kilos, 286 pounds if you're still working in old money. And just to put the 130s into context, a context, I should say, the world record at senior level is 165 kilos, so long way to go. That was set by Georgi Markov of Bulgaria back in the Sydney Olympics of 2000. And uh, since we've got a, a couple of teenagers in this, worth mentioning the junior world record, um, that's uh, Yao uh, Yunai in Dubai last year for China, 156 kilos. So we'll just have to wait and see how this competition unfolds in respect of records but it's not about records it's about uh, succeeding and we've got Azerbaijan, Armenia, two from Armenia, China the defending champion from Turkey, the Turkey I should say the uh, university champion of this season that's Mete Bine uh, another one of the youngsters just 21 years of age Italy, represented by Giorgio De Luca. Uh, Albagir of uh, Saudi Arabia in here. Uh, Lamuth from Cuba. Kazakhstan, that's uh, Ragatov. Bulgaria, Demir Demirev. And uh, Venceslas de Bayer of France, who, if you were with us just a few moments ago when we uh, said hello to you, he was uh, certainly amongst our thoughts as being a possible gold medal contender for today and uh, Fikratov who you've just seen completes the uh, 12 or 11 lifters I should say because the uh, lifter that's actually missing once again is the man from Saudi Arabia and that's a fourth lifter that's come out of the championships from the original entry so up to 130 five kilos I think perhaps we can uh, get a bit of a close-up yep bar's gone up to 135 so 297 pounds of course in the snatch the athletes take a, a wider grip the bar's taken uh, overhead in one movement straight from the floor to straight arms and that's a good lift from the uh, Kazakhstan I think it's Kazakhstan yes it's uh, it's uh, Ragatov, yeah, Ragatov, just 18 years of age and 140 kilos? 135. 135, sorry. 135. There's a good opener there. Good tight back as he pulls, brings the hips in and uh, catches it in a good, solid low squat. So back to the Bulgarian, Fikratov, also coming out on 135 kilos. Yeah, edging towards his personal best of 138 kilos. Already uh, did that this year in the Europeans in Vadislavovo in uh, Poland. And the Bulgarians have been in some disarray 
both in terms of their weightlifting and also their management systems. Uh, I still think we're quite a way away from seeing them return to, uh, you know, top form. So 138 kilos. But uh, both, well, there's a lot of lifters, aren't there? One, two, three lifters who posted 145 kilos as their starting point. Bayramov, Afghan Bayma, Bayma, Bayramov, representing Azerbaijan. Yes, decided to jump six kilos. It's got a personal best of 142. Oof, well, not sure about that. The arms unlocked and then locked again. And it's two to one against. Yeah. Yeah, so no lift for him. Yes, the rules state the bar has to go straight to arm's length. You can't lock and unlock the arms. And if you just watch here, I'm not sure if you can see it from this angle. You can definitely see it from that angle. And uh, as we've discussed before, it's, a, it's one of those rules that I think that perhaps uh, they should drop. I think if you, if you lift the weight, it's fine, whether you've, whether you've pressed it out or not. And the uh, main reason for that being that, that I haven't come across a set of referees that have managed to be consistent in their, in their refereeing. So some athletes get good lifts when they press it out, some athletes get, get no lifts, and, and the audience, as, as, as well as ourselves, are left very, very confused. Well, if you agree with David, you don't have to agree with David, but if you do agree with David, we'd love to hear from you. Question at weightlifting.de. Should they scrap the press-out rule? That's our question of tonight. And uh, if you'd like to send us an email on question at weightlifting.de, it would be an interesting little poll vote from all of you tonight. Should you be able to take the bar in whatever manner to locked-out arms, and should the press-out rule be cancelled so there it is uh, something for you to think about over the next uh, 90 minutes so Byramov out again 136 third attempt it was the clean and jerk phase where into uh, which he ran into troubles this year in the uh, Europeans Oof, no so he stays on 130 kilos and he's clearly not going to play a major part in this competition. So, one out of three. Not exactly the way you'd uh, like to get underway. Azerbaijan's uh, only uh, representative. So, Italy. Giorgio De Luca. Or De Luca, I should say. 22-year-old Italian. His heaviest man in the class. Weighed in at 68.95. So, almost right on the limit there. And a pretty good start on uh, 137. So the bar now in excess of 300 pounds. And remember, these men weighing in at around 152 pounds. Well, it's good to see the Italians and the French in, in, in an A final. Well, it is. I mean, uh, two reasons for that. One. Um, obviously uh, improving a new generation of lifters the other one no doubt the uh, effect of the world anti-doping agency's testing program which is beginning to make it uh, a slightly more level playing field it's far from a level playing field but it's at least uh, getting a little better now this is Yonanis uh, Lamuth for Cuba opening up yes 138 so that's three kilos more than he had posted been quite impressed with the Cubans in this in this championship so far. Yodanis Borrero Lamuth, and that's a good starter. 
probably the best snatch lift that we've seen so far in the early stages of this uh, competition. Got a personal best though of 147 and a half. So it'll be interesting to see how far he can close up on that. off third and final attempt 138 no not today so actually that leaves him on 130 as well so no, no, one, no 135 you got his no 130 you got his, yeah you got his second in Yeah, it was a long way from getting that bar anywhere near the optimum spot. Yeah, I mean, technique, technique fine, just simply not strong enough to get enough, enough height on the bar. Didn't have the power in the legs and the, and the lower back. So he now can go back, forget about the snatch completely. That's done. He's got 135 on the board. He can relax for a while and then turn his focus towards the clean and jerk while the rest of the snatch competition continues and the bar rises. So the first of the Armenians, two in this class, both posted, funnily enough, at 3.20 and both weighed in at exactly the same weight as well, David, 68.9. <laughs> so no team tactics. This is the 18-year-old Tigran Martirosian. Also failed to total in this year's European Championships in Poland, but did manage 146 kilos in the snatch. Oh, well, 140 kilos, but uh, unsuccessful there. Doesn't seem to be really focused or, or, or fired up. There really didn't seem to be any sort of uh, life in that. Yeah, junior European champion this season, but that's not a auspicious uh, start. He's actually got 150. They say he's actually snatched 100, and, sorry, 146 kilos as his personal best, but actually has done 150. So, I mean, the uh, the information on the paper doesn't match the form on the stage by any means. And you know, a junior European champion. We're talking about a competition won in September of this year. I just completely changing the subject just going back to something that you said that, that, that you said earlier regarding the uh, the weights that for example the Chinese uh, lifter put in put in a 330 now I'm just wondering what would actually happen if he did 351 and won the gold medal would he not be able to win because that's 20 over 20 kilos outside what now, I think if I'm right the rule says you got to be you can't be under by more than 20 uh, okay it's a bit like the prices. Yeah, it would be crazy. It's a little bit like the prices, <laughs> right, David? You can't, but in reverse. In reverse. Because therefore, you can, in that you can't be over the showcase money. You can be under, but no more than the the, the amount you press on the button. You can be two thousand under, but not a penny over. <laughs> and in this game, you can be a penny over, but, but not under. So one forty for Ragatov. Uh, that's uh, interesting. I, 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 they put that down as his entry lift. Yeah. Uh, I've actually got him down here having already lifted. Yeah. 135. Well, I'm sure we've seen him on stage. Yeah, had him down at yeah. one, 135 already. There's only one man. Oh, no, it's the, gra it's the graphics it's again. The graphic, that's yeah. his second attempt. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, yeah it's his second yeah. attempt. Yeah. So it always amazes me. You've got You've got five jury members, three referees, two technical controllers, and they still they still can't <laughs> get it right. <laughs> so, for the second time of asking, 140 kilos for Mar Tirozian. Just uh, looking to his right, just looking at the clock. 
So, he's a bit more fire in his belly this time. Has to stay on the four-metre platform. Well, he got it. It wasn't the most convincing. No, but the wake-up call, or whatever the discussion was with his coaches, seems to have worked it. But again, every lifter has their style. I mean, his is, at the moment, head down. But uh, he's struggling, isn't he? Mm. It's not... I don't even think it's, it's physical strength. It's concentration. He, he does. He seems to struggle to hold his concentration throughout the lift. So, Giorgio, this is a four kilo increase. Ooh. European Championships will be in Ooh. Italy in 2008. Home for him is uh, Rome, or at least the club he lives for is Fiamme Oro Roma. And he's doing well. And 141 kilos. Just having a look at the uh, statistics there. That would be a new personal best by three kilos. So, as you said, improving as we move towards the Olympic Games. Yeah, he's uh, the reigning national champion of his country, what he would expect him to be here on the stage representing Italy at the Worlds. So are we going to see the Cuban? Quite tricky when you've got a class of more than 10 for the coaches to keep tabs on things. They've got to be the, the eyes and sometimes the ears as well of the lifter to be well aware of what's going on but it is the uh, Cuban this is uh, Jordanis Lamout coming out now 138 was the first good one so four kilo increase for him so this still leaves him uh, a good five kilo short of his lifetime best but that's not an implied criticism if he does this, then he's keeping to his plan. Well, it looks OK. Unfortunately, the uh, picture showing the actual lift doesn't really give you a chance, but I don't think there was a press out there. Look fine. No, look, look good. So, confirmation there. This is buzzing up to be quite a good little competition here, David. Uh, there have been some good champions in this weight category. Of course, Xi Zhihong, he's here to defend his title. He won it last year. Zhang Guangzheng, he was the Olympic champion in 2004. Totaled up uh, 347 and a half. That was two and a half kilos less than she did last year in winning the world title in uh, Qatar. Zhang also won the world title in 2003 and 2002. And before that, it was Boevsky, 2001 Olympic champion in Sydney and also the world champion in 1999. And before him, his teammate Yeliashkov in 1998. So it's sort of been a story of Bulgaria and China. I wonder whether that will uh, stay the same way. This man might have a part to play. Yes, Mr. Demirov taking uh, three kilos more than posted. It was originally down to start on 140 uh, and uh, on stage now with 143 kilos. And, uh, well, maybe he should have stayed on 140. Yeah, European silver medalist uh, this season, Demirov. Surely got the strength to do this, David. Very, very short on the pull. But the man coming on stage now, Debaya, the Frenchman who we were 
we like this earlier. We like this guy. We don't like we? this guy. We, we, he's a bit yeah. of a performer. He's a bit of a performer. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Character, and uh, he's a big hope for France because he really, if he gets it right tonight, he could walk out this hall as world champion. But he's got to, he's got to put in all six lifts. And if he does really well, if he's really pleased himself, he actually, uh, he actually does a back somersault as well, just to, just to entertain everybody. Get away to a good start. Strong. Well done. Yeah. Good boy. I was going to say that uh, his weak point is, is, is the snatch. He's generally much stronger on the clean and jerk, but, uh, but that looked very, very confident and very strong. He really looks up for it as, up for it as well. Yeah, good, good pace as well. This former lifter from the Cameroons has been lifting now for France uh, since the... Athens Olympic Games. He was fifth for the Cameroons in the Olympics in uh, Athens. 145, 182, 327 and a half. Well, you know, if he's going to be in the 330 territory, he's surely got to have a chance of a major medal. Yeah, he's, he's improved a lot recently, but I think it's uh, because of a change in his training. When he, when he uh, won the Commonwealth Games in 2002, I had a little chat with him. We were both in the sauna trying to, uh, to lose weight and I asked him about his training. He told me he was only training three days a week. Yeah. Because of work, he's obviously now gone to France, and he's and he's now up that. It's so full time. It's full time now. Oh, that's better. That's a bit of a repair job there from Demirev, and uh, he gets on the ball with 143, but a wasted attempt. So. Yeah, he looks. He looks uh, a little happier with himself, yeah, but, you know, to what extent has that uh, shortened his ambitions? That's the big question. Demirev with a personal best. Just looking at that, it'd be around about 148. So can he get there? So, a young Armenian missed 140 succeeded let's see if he can stay focused and uh, finish off this 143 well no no he's definitely got a psychological problem this this guy and uh, I don't know I mean he's quite young he's obviously he's, he's, he's in a stage where he should actually be, be growing and that and he's been at 69 kilos for quite a long time now I wonder if really his coaches should be allow allowing him to move into the 77 kilo class but they're holding him down and making him lose a lot of body weight which is which is affecting his uh, psychology well affecting him psychologically and and physically on the stage because he re really he looks as if he's just can't be bothered and that's that's the kind of feeling that people get when they when they when they lose too much weight to make a weight class Helmer Berger who provides us with the uh a lot of uh, interesting information, but some of, you, some of it sort of uh, a bit obscure. But <laughs> Marty Rossian at the European Youth Championships in 2005 won the 10,000th medal in the history of the European Weightlifting Championship since uh, 1896. So thank you, Hilma, for that contribution. <laughs> now, this is, uh, no, is uh, it's a stalwart Hilma. We wouldn't be without him. <laughs> so the bar now moves to 145 kilos for the second of the Armenians. Yeah, Gazarian. Not to be. So again. Actually, this, this is going to be a pretty hard competition to call because... The, Everybody's around about the same, doing around about the same way. Yeah, the spread is only 23 kilos across the whole field, and as we're now moving up, you know, in the body weight class, that 23 kilos becomes less and less significant, and it tells you that, you know, they are all going to be crunched together. What it also tells you, David, is that these men, you know, must believe in their, if, it, if they've done the work and they've prepared and they've, you know, tapered down and they're ready for this, then, you know, they should believe that they're in with a real chance of a medal here, because it is close. So here comes the defending champion, not Xi Hong Xi as it's written, but Xi Xi Hong. You don't reverse the names round in China. And 
opening up on 145, which is the plan. Well, I believe he's done quite a bit more than this at the lighter weight class. Very, very oh. strong. And that's what you'd love to see on this discipline, which requires absolute precision to see that sort of pace. I mean, that bar, I mean, people wouldn't actually believe the speed at which it, it travels. Well, I think in the 19... This is sort of another useless fact for you, but in the 1980 Olympic Games, Daniel Nunes of Cuba, who was a 56-kilo lifter, uh, it wasn't the lightest class at the time, it is now. Um, he was actually the fastest, he was recorded as the fastest athlete in the competition on a snatch with 125 kilos. So he was moving over double his body weight faster than, any, than anybody else. And what was the speed? I don't know. But it, but it, was, it was the fastest recorded movement in the 1980 Olympic Games, Daniel Nunes, the weightlifter. Just going back to Xi Hong, you were absolutely right. I mean, he's got a PB of 160 on the snatch. Um, which is five kilos short of the present world record. Gazarian now, 145, second attempt. Needs to make this. If he wants to be a player in the 69 kilo men's championship tonight. Oh, no, well, better than the first one, but... Um, Under pressure now, yeah. one attempt. Miss out on the next one, and the total possibility has gone for him. And, of course, people like uh, Xi Zhihong and also Venceslas will not be unhappy about that. If they, if one or two run into trouble, and it's just going to make that job a little easier, particularly in the sense that they've got less men to concentrate on, to be aware of. So Kazakhstan now, and this is uh, Ragatov, third and final attempt. 135, 140, now 145 for three out of three. So, five kilos over, double body weight now. And one lift that the junior world bronze medalist of this season just unfortunately couldn't manage. But uh, that leaves him on 143, as you rightly said. And we've just got one athlete that hasn't entered this competition yet. Mete yeah. Bune of uh, Turkey. It's posted at 145, but obviously... He's taking more. <laughs> Giorgio De Luca coming in at 145 and also looking for a perfect sequence. Well, this would be a massive personal best lift for him. I believe the last one was a personal best by three kilos. Yeah, it was. And this would put him right up there amongst the medals. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Well, it couldn't have been any closer. I think he's all right. I think it's just the disappointment. He's not hurt. Well, I think it's disappointed because he, yeah. he realises how close that actually was and that he really could have been in there. But, but improving and definitely a man to watch for the future. Yeah, I think the 145 was important, as you said, David, earlier on. He is the heaviest of the class tonight. So that, those extra couple of kilos, you won't know until the end just how important they were. But... Oof. Yeah, just whacked just him on that right knee. The thigh. Yeah. Just. Oh, yeah. Hopefully yeah, he's lucky, okay. Lucky, I think, to, lucky to yeah, get away with that. Yeah. Actually. If that had gone, actually, I looked at it the first time as if it was on the knee, but in fact, no, I think you're right, thigh. on thigh. If it had been on the knee, then he might have been in really serious trouble. But as it is, I think he's probably got away with that. Well, that's 145 kilos coming down on the leg. Yeah. But he, but he stood up and walked off, so <laughs> we're assuming he's OK. Well, initially, you know how it is. Initially, you know, you, you sometimes do that, and then you get the reaction afterwards. Now the Armenian. Yeah, it's got a real problem now. Yeah, he's one. missed it twice. Yeah. Has to do this. Well, come on. Let's get on his side here and hope that he can pick this bar up and stay in the competition, in the championship. Arms fully extended for the snatch at the end of the bar. Gazarian. Well, 
Well, a little bit ambitious, I think, for a, for a, an opener, 145. That would have been more, more like a third attempt. So he's actually out of the overall. Of course, he can go on into in the clean and jerk. He's got the biggest clean and jerk posted at 180. Yeah, but you see, that's interesting, isn't it? Because now people like Venceslas and, you know, Xi Zhihong, if he was going to be a threat in the second half, he's now not a threat only in the, in the clean and jerk. But in terms of the championship, he's no longer a threat. Mm -hmm. Ah, right, our oh, man's back. Yeah. Very strong in the clean and jerk, this yeah. boy. If he just keeps close in the snatch, he's, he's, he's dangerous. He can do some damage, and that's what we're hoping that he can do, because we'd love to see this title go to France tonight. And I believe, uh, you might correct me here, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is this will be a personal record. Pretty um, sure his best is 145. This no, he's, is done, he's, done, what, he's done more than, more uh, than 45. What's he, yeah, he, uh, what's he got on the bar there? 146. Right, this would be... Yeah, he did 145 in Europe this year, 145 in the world last year. And... Uh, Oh, not there this time. Well, he's strong enough. He's actually got a PB of 147 and a half. But you were spot on when you're saying that he, he needs these kilos to stay in touch. So, Cuba, it's been a long time since we've seen him. He's been sat in that warm-up room, waiting for the bar to get to 146. Already got 140, 138 and 142. This is just... It's just one kilo shy of his personal best, isn't it? One and a half, to one be half. precise. We don't deal in half kilos now, but it's academic, I'm afraid. Leaves him on 142. So, again... You know your comments about, you know the um, your comments about, you know Venceslas making the 145 are, you know they're becoming really important. Still, I haven't seen this Turkish lifter, Mete Bine. Well, he's coming in at more than 146, or not coming in at or all. Not coming in at all. He must be coming in at more than 146. I, 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 I can't, I, I in can't understand why he wouldn't come in now, given what's going on in there. If I was his coach, I'd be looking to get one on the board. Now, this is Dabaya out for 146 third attempt. 146 third attempt. So he really needs to, needs to get this in to, yeah. keep him in to keep him in touch. He's got the strength. He just needs to to keep his shoulders over the bar in the, in the second phase of the pull as the, as, as the hips come into the bar. Come on, come on, come on! Yeah, it's dangerous it. now. Yeah, you could just—it's—it it, it was just that little concern, David. You know, having missed that second one, you sort of sense that that's put a, put a little bit of uncertainty into his mind. He had to overcome that as well, and just concentrate on the the technique. He knows that he can lift this. He's lifted this metaphorically a thousand times in the gym, and that's good. That's good. So, Dabaya, this season's European bronze medalist, last season's world bronze medalist, moving forward. Right. Bar going up for Mete Bine, the university champion of 2006. First attempt. It's 147. Nice lift. Excellent lift. He did 150 in the University Championships. And clearly the warm-up went well. They were confident, having uh, posted 145 as a starter. And here again, when we see it again, David, the pace with which he moves this bar. <laughs> not, not the best slow-motion replay to illustrate the point I was trying to make. 
but uh, nonetheless we've got two more chances to see him and of course the, the Turks uh, coming back after a two-year suspension as well not him personally but you know the Federation and now Demirev for Bulgaria yes this will put him right back in the frame also attempting 147 on his third and final lift so last chance to move forward failure on this would leave him on 143 well that was just a complete lack of belief there so he stays on 143 so it's very very close very close so leading Turkey France in second place at the moment yeah and but China in third but uh, still uh, two lifts for the Chinaman, two lifts for the Turk. Yeah, I think the Chinese lifter did exactly the right thing. I mean, he decided that's where he was going to start. He's got the score on the board. And now, basically, with his coaches, they're just looking to see how this how this unfolds. Because, as you say, you know, <laughs> at his very best, Xi Zhihong um, can pick up 160 kilos. So maybe just having a look, there he is, Xi Zhihong, 26 years of age. Olympic champion in uh, Athens and uh, it's important to uh, remember that that championship was at 62 kilos he's moved up obviously into this 69 kilo class after Athens but when he won the Olympic title he still totaled up 325 <laughs> which was pretty good at 62 kilos so 150 kilos 330 pounds 12 kilos over double body weight but as you say it's still 10 kilos within his personal record well, that's interesting because uh, because I believe he's actually lifted more than that in the 62 kilo class I think he's got the world world record at 153 well, he had 152 and a half in the Olympics, as as a 62 kilo, 62 lift. kilo. So he has lifted more in the lower yeah. in the lower weight class. So Absolutely, not on his best form at the moment. Which also, you know, tallies up with the 330 total. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you know, maybe maybe his preparation for these championships hasn't been all that he would have wished for, and so he's still dangerous and he can still defend this title, but you know maybe not ready to go the distance as he did last year but always respect a champion there's something about them when they get under pressure more often than not more respond but of course that would have put a little spark into this guy now won't it because he's done 150 this season well and of course uh, the Frenchman De Bayer, my, my, he's still my tip for the for the top I met he did uh, 150, and this is the final card in the snatch phase for the defending champion. Now, when he won this last year, actually snatched 160. So that gives you a measure of where he was 12 months ago. So he needs this urgently. Must have had an injury. Must be coming coming back after an injury. Uh, well done. Yeah. Needed that. Yeah, because what it means is that he's got four very valuable kilos over Dubaia. He weighed in at uh, 67. He's the lightest, lightest in the competition. So, you know, he's got that going for him. And it also means that Bine of Turkey, uh, you know, has got to go beyond 150 now to get ahead of him in this particular part of the competition. So it'll be interesting to see what Mete chooses to do. Yeah, so that lift there guarantees, it's the gold at the moment, but guarantees the silver medal. And the only man that can change that is the man on stage now. Mete of Turkey. Yeah, Mete Bine won that university title in Izmir. So yes, this one kilo more than he lifted there and the weight that he needs to take the gold medal. Looked very good on the first snatch. Little bit of pressure creeping Better in. That. Yep. Well, 
Well, whatever, whatever happens now, David, he's got to go for 151, which means that even if he gets it, Xi Zhihong's going to be right on his tail. So he's not going to get away. And it is going to be, as you said, a very tight competition all very the way tight. through. Very tight. And, of course, Dabaya will have seen that and said, thank you very much, that, that's a big help as well. Well, Dabaya's my, he's my tip. Well, the difference between, I mean, Dabaya and the Europeans, 180 in the clean and jerk, 179 in the Worlds last year when he got that bronze. He's done 182 and a half. He did that in the Olympic Games. Uh, Mete Bine, 175. So, you know, if, the, if Venceslas is within four or five kilos, then... You know, Dubai is going to be happy. He's going to believe that whatever this young Turk can put down, he's going to be able to claw his way past him. But if the young Turk isn't able to snatch 151, they'll only have a kilo advantage over Dubai. And I think he, I think he needs more. Yeah. Oh, well, that's. Uh, I mean, if he, if, if Bino gets left on 147 now, he's in his his aspirations at the senior level are are, are dented. I think he's got the strength, I think he's got the ability, but, uh, you know, this is a big stage. This isn't the university championships, this is the senior world championships. This is the, the big boys' territory. And maybe, you know, a little bit of nervousness as well. It's not a bad thing to have a few nerves, but you have to control those. Very unassuming character. Doesn't look like a, like a weightlifter, does he? He's got no... No muscles, but still picks up the weights. Well, that's why I think this is the phase in which he will be better. No, no. And 147, it's all gone a bit pear-shaped. So China with gold, Turkey with silver, and, and France. Uh, France with bronze. And only four kilos separating them. Yeah. So, nice little championship challenge in prospect here and the whole rhythm of the competition a whole lot better in this uh, Mirador del Este Hall the East Park weightlifting uh, pavilion which quite frankly could do with a few more spectators a little disappointing, David. I mean, you know, Santa Domingo doesn't have too many uh, major world sporting events uh, visiting its shores. Maybe, maybe this isn't necessarily their cup of tea, but you, thought, you might have thought that a few of the one million uh, inhabitants were, might be a bit curious to come down here and have a look at the strongest men in the world. Anyway, more of that when we uh, come back. The boys are backstage now, warming up, going through their preparations for the clean and jerk phase. They've got 10 minutes in which to get ready, but this is beautifully set up. The defending champion, clearly not at his very best, but also a danger. Dabaya, our man, very much in contention. We'll take a break. Back of their uh, clean.